Uh, I've got a question. Sure. Uh, I have a young son, as everyone pretty knows. This, but I watched my mother, my wife, deal, like uh, raise him, and literally sacrifice a lot for him. But also that might uh, limit her worship as well. I just want to know what kind of mercy does a mother get from doing the best that she can to raise her child? Obviously, look, there's a, a lot of people don't understand one very basic concept. Let me give you an example. The difference between your salah individually and the salah and jama'ah is what? How many folds? Why? There's positive contribution when you are in group. You contribute more. You contribute to society. You contribute to this. Whenever there's a contribution that you're doing beyond yourself, because now this is not just for yourself. You're praying already. That's what your obligation is. But now you're helping. And it requires sabr. Now that you're doing it, guess what? There's 27 folds, the, the reward. Go. Same thing. When you live for yourself only versus when you live for yourself and you live for others as well, there's a big difference. And the reward is immense. So that's the same thing. But having said that, that a mother or a father or whoever contributes back, contributes back to others other than themselves, even being their family, that's the, the first beginning, right? The first circle. But having said that, and I know it can be very taxing, uh, as a father, I know that. Um, maybe my wife doesn't think so. <laughs> uh, but that should not alleviate you from having your one-on-one -on -one time. Still. You still have to try to be in the presence of Allah Ta'ala during the day sometime. Don't let... You're giving, and that's what happens with all the people who work da'wah. The people who work on da'wah a lot, they say, but we're not working now to improve ourselves as much. We used to do a lot better when we were doing alone, but now when we're working, it seems we're taking a lot of negativity in and it's draining me. That's exactly the point. You're going up in a sense because you're now dealing, you're doing the job of the, the Anbiya والسلام, and you're giving back. And giving back, you're going to take more uh, hassle and more difficulty and that's going to raise you higher but that still you still need power line that power line is your presence with Allah so no matter where you are especially if you are in a da'wah or you are contributing back to your family you're contributing back in whatever way you are you've got to take some time you know 20 minutes of sanity you and Allah nothing else Whatever, whenever that 20 minutes that you can get. Two rak'ah, six rak'ah, whatever it is. You know, I always say the number. People come to me, I always they ask me, Sheikh, we have serious problem. Can you make dua for me? I really need it urgently. I say, right, yeah, I'll give you a number you call and it will be done. Like this? Yeah, like this. this right. What's the number? Write the number down, those of you writing the number so you can have it. All right? Four, four, four. Four rakah at 4 a.m. with four tears. Four rakah only. Four a.m. Four tears. Ask him all you want, Bismillah. Inshallah, he will give you. Don't worry. These things are important, so we can. We need. We need some sustenance. You see, without sustenance, it becomes difficult. All right.